Yeah, by the way, it's been so long that I haven't really done many episodes that now when I upload this video on YouTube in two years, people, everybody's gonna say I'm copying uh, Iron Pineapple, which is fine, you know, maybe I can siphon some views off of that. Maybe I'll get like 30 extra cents for the video. So I'll make a whole dollar. So the very first game that I want to be playing, which, you know, I said that I was gonna play a bunch of games, but I cannot see myself not playing this game for at least the next 12 hours straight. And I understand if you guys, you know, dip out of the, the, the stream or the video because you don't want any spoilers, which is, uh, you know, it's fine, I understand. One of my favorite reviews when I did scroll down, Dark Souls for poor people. Uh, his review just says, pros, sounds are okay. Like, that's a pro, just that the sounds are fine. Okay, so we're gonna have to try this out in two different. So first we're gonna go with uh, Do you want the graphics to be fastest or fantastic? Let's go with fantastic. Whoa, it is fantastic I knew it would be also have I not unlocked his face yet or something. What's up with that? Whoa, look at the volumetric lighting. That's insane It took Skyrim 12 years to get that now. Here's something that's a little bit bad so it, it does have dodges like Dark Souls, but the dodge is also the menu button, so when, if you want to dodge, you gotta wait for the menu, and then it rolls. I don't know what they were playing at with that. The hell did I do? What am I in cower mode? Backstab is. Ooh, you know what? That review was right. The sounds are okay. Aren't all the enemies the exact same? God, there's even lag, and I'm not even online. Just like Dark Souls. Holy shit, that guy fucked me up. <laughs> it even stole the lag from Dark Souls. He has the weapon attached to his wrist, he's not holding it. Here's the thing I like so far about this game, right? Not only is it uh, fun and like an action game, but it's also like you gotta, like a puzzle game, you gotta find them, you know? You gotta find where the enemies are. Look at that plunge attack. Whoa. Oh. Oh boy, that's not good. I don't, am I supposed to do this? This game doesn't have gravity, you guys. I broke gravity. Oh my god. Another plus one for barbarian souls. Wait, what happens if I just let him slide off? Oh, <laughs> there he goes. He was biting his time. <laughs> oh my god, blocking does nothing. You are dead. Level fail. Dark Souls has some great AI, but... I don't know, man. I think Barbarian Souls got him beat. I would say this is the rich man's Dark Souls. We're about to finish the first level. Yep, that right trigger did no damage. What button did I do to heal again? Again? Uh, what the fuck? My heals just disappeared. Enemies remaining. Zero. Level complete. New weapon unlocked. Simple shield. Whoa! It is... Oh my god. The fuck? Why is the only shadow that shows up my head and my sword? Look at the lush greenery and the stretched out mountains. That tree has more of a shadow than I do. I also can't look higher than this. That's literally the highest I can look. Because if you look up, <laughs> the entire above you is incomplete. They did not animate any of that. It is a blank image, so instead of, you know, making like a PNG or something and stretching it over the sky the same way they did with the mountains, they just made it so you can't look higher. So since it's a different level, there'll probably be different enemies, right? It's not. Oh, this guy has a spear. They are different. What the fuck? The spear is attack like that? Why would you try to hit me with that instead of poking me? Jesus Christ, that's why, because he's a fucking god. Okay. Oh, I can't roll. Roll out of the way. Careful! <laughs> Why is he running like that? I'm dead. I wish you can have iframes. I don't think you do. Here, let me see. Do I have iframes? I don't know. I have M frames. Menu frames. Now, I have a feeling if I get in this hole, I won't be able to get out. Uh-oh. I want to be wrong. Oh, no. This is not a poorly made game. A real... Yes! I told you guys. Oh, my God. I... I underestimated this game. I did. Oh, yeah. The shield. 
Here, let me put it on. Now I can do it. Uh, wait, what? It turns out that my shield fell through my backpack. It's so weird, again, that that guy called it Dark Souls for Poor People, yet this game costs $70 million to make. Where are these guys? I've been running around. I can't find them. There's five enemies. How am I supposed to find them in this giant world? It's so weird that this guy is the head of EA now. After making this game. They gave him a job and very quickly he rose up the ladder. From janitor to janitor manager, straight to CEO of EA. The same way my shield disappeared, I think the last five enemies glitched out through the world. I'm, I'm not gonna have to restart, am I? Try jumping off the map. You can't do that in this game, it's built too well. Press V to track them. That's not a thing, you liar. Well, I guess we're gonna have to restart. Damn it, game! Alright, I gotta speedrun these, I guess. Maybe they disappear after a while. A few moments later. Damn it! Why did they despawn again? I got one kill this time. You'd think that they would respawn even more now, considering I'm on the fastest graphic settings, rather than fantastic graphic settings. I think we've kind of reached the end of this game. I know that we, we all thought we are going to be here for the next 12 hours, 13 hours, trying to beat this game, but uh, I feel like I kind of got it, you know? The enemies despawned. There's a tiny little glitch. Maybe one of the reviews mentions something about the glitch. Here, let me see if... Maybe we could see... Jesus Christ, this video was recorded in 144p. So you can track the enemies. The person who told me to press V to track the enemies wasn't lying. Have you played this fucking game? Okay, what does this say? F7 trick and complete the game in about 30 to 50 sec... Wait, F7 trick? They don't run away, they just stand there and take a lashing to deliver further board. You can simply press F7 and all the enemies will immediately perish. What? Now we can see every level! Next! There's rain in this one! It is quite beautiful. Next! This must be the final boss fight. I think that's a guy- They're all dead. Next! Whoa! Careful, he's gonna get- oh, He's dead. This looks like it'll probably be like a very tough level to beat. Let's see if we can. I win. Okay, we're back in the first level, I think. Why is this a thing? Why Why can you do this? He's like fucking Neo. Okay, so I should have a lot of weapons now, right? Look at that! An axe and a shield. Wait, what? Can I only have one at a time or is the axe a two-handed weapon? Here, let me see the damage potential on this thing. Oh, I think the enemies despawned. I swear I saw a guy that was standing here a second ago. I guess that's why the F7 trick exists. You can't run away from me. Got him! Whoa! A fucking orc! I can only have one thing. I can't have a shield. Ah, oh, they despawned. Fuck, come on! I saw the orc standing there. I was gonna go fight him. Come oh, man. You're not escaping, bitch. I fucking got him. So what causes them to despawn? If I press start, okay? If I press back, change the weapons, and they're gone. Magic! Ooh, spooky. Well, that was fun. Honestly, I had more fun there at the end when I figured out that trick than actually playing the game. Dark Light. Again, we, we get a lot of these games. I think just because they have the word dark or souls in the title. Why does every fucking game look like this? Damn side scrollers. Stop making so many Metroidvania games. There we go. Now this is a real video game. <laughs> Why is it the exact same pose in every image? <laughs> Look at it. All right, the person standing is the exact same every single time. It doesn't change. They just pick the character up and put it in a different location. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I want to get this one as well. The reviews are some of my favorite. A great Souls-like game with an engaging storyline and quest to complete. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the world. You have. Now, did the Chackinator make this game? I don't know. I don't know. They have one review. That's a little suspicious. Hellwire. We're a race of people who were born with extraordinary abilities. Until... Oh, wait. There is no until. They took... Oh, fuck. Oh, I might have lowered it too much. What's that? I was speaking to you I will tell you all the lore. What the... <laughs> Do normal humans do that? 
lying down like a stiff dead body, raising up like a vampire. Ooh, there's something over there. What's up with this area being... Alright, so we got 60 FPS. I think Lothar Castle is over there, because <laughs> there's 30 FPS over there. Holy shit. These ultra settings were a bad idea. <laughs> what the fuck? The audio settings didn't even change, so why was his voice so low? You could do a 360 roll in this game. Okay, so we got vitality, endurance, potency, dexterity, strength, and protection. I will be going for a full dexterity build. How do I get out of this? Am I supposed to be doing something? Uh-oh. You guys? I think something broke. Who's this? Oh, he's gonna tell us the lore. I see you finally awoke. There's voice acting. I've been waiting here for many years. So why is he in my left ear, even though he's on the right side? I'm gonna give this guy credit though, because other games would have just done subtitles. And this guy decided to and it might sound sarcastic, but I'm not being sarcastic. A spider! You can't say spider, it's copyrighted. Got him! What did I get? Epicac? I got a thousand souls from the spider. I can level up some dexterity. Oh, the door opened. Oh, he's gone. Oh my god. Dexterity. So it takes about 700, huh? Almost 800 essence for one level. Oh, it says right there, 762. So it is an open world. You can kind of choose wherever you want to go, but I'm following the frame rate. I'm not following the actual, like... That was a big open area. No, I'm going to where- no, no access. Never mind. You gotta go the other way. Oh, the world is insane. Just like Bloodborne. There's music specifically here in this area. There's a ghost with a boombox. Oh no, it's a spider and a moose credo. Got it. How do I heal? Oh shit, he's got a lot of poise. No! I'm good. Are those werewolves? Yo, he is tough. Holy shit! <laughs> How do I heal? Uh -oh. <laughs> the voice. The enemies change. There's different enemy placements. That's pretty impressive. Why does it take a fucking trillion hits? He's a fucking mosquito. Fucking die, bro. I have a straight sword. How many hits are we in so far? Like 37? 38. 39. 40. I heard a gunshot. They're sniping me. Zigzag. They're sniping. By the way, why is there a little Demogorgon here? That's literally a fucking Demogorgon now that I think about it. They just ripped the Demogorgon. Ta yeah. Get your fucking lawyers ready. Steve Williamson or whatever your name is. Because I'm suing. Gotcha, bitch. Give me that heal. I need it. Yes, he gave me two. Uh-oh. If I fight a, a Demogorgon and a Mosquito, then I will probably die. It's kind of insane to have two copyrighted characters. Demo the Demogorgon and the Mosquito. Fuck off, man. Well, there goes all that heal. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's a big spider too. St this camera is so fucking buggy. Stop clipping on everything. I'm going all the way back. I'm healing. This is Dark Souls 4. It's way more advanced. I love that these trees have speakers on them. It sounds like, you know when you go to like Universal Studios or something like that for the Halloween Horror Nights? And so, uh, there's a lot of speakers everywhere. It's kind of like that. Oh, this guy! Yes! We made it to the next area! Well, the beast that laid waste to this land resides up His helmet, man, it's in the way, I can't hear him. Turn on subtitles? Did you just really tell me that? Turn on subtitles? Subtitles? Man, if the Stranger Things boys went to this area, they'd be fucked. They were having trouble with one little Demogorgon. There's 70 here. And then, what's her face? Fucking L1. She had to take up a straight sword instead of her little magical powers. Ooh, another item. A katana! Come here, bitches. I found my fucking dex weapon. How are you gonna get me behind that fence, you idiot? <gasps> a shortcut. This is the beginning area, you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I do 45 damage now. I don't know how this guy's hurt. I mean, that damage, it looks... 
I guess a little bit more. Cool, a heal. And it's gone. <laughs> if I move, my ankles will explode. I gotta make sure to always keep at least one heal on me. Because I think it literally glitches out. If you get to zero, you can't get any more. Uh, but then that happens. And this guy f has the fucking got... I can't fall! How did that even happen? How did I get here? That's a slippery mountain. Oh. Just like Bloodborne. <coughs> Hello? Is someone there? That guy's really phoning it in. I can tell. He only got paid $2 for that Craigslist ad. What are you doing outside? No one's been in the streets of the town in years. Just not, not since the beast passed through. The what? Oh? You're a hell of a... Hmm... I haven't had that in a long time. That's literally an exact fucking little quest in Bloodborne. And that, I can see a Demogorgon slowly fucking doing the moonwalk back there, practicing. Can I see him? What are the odds that I can see him in there? By the way, there's no one in there. I can see- there's a window on the side. There's nothing in there. <laughs> That's an empty room with a voice in it. You should have maybe closed the windows out to leave a little bit of the mystery. I don't remember in Bloodborne you being able to look through the window and there's a fucking little child T posing. Oh, I accidentally pressed. Oh no, I pressed Y by accident healed. Oh boy. Everything looks the same, so it's tough. Yep, I got that. It was a heal and I didn't get the heal. I knew it! Oh. Hello, there's a gravity spot here. There we go. Man, you talk about an asset rip. Like, that's straight up the Demogorgon from Dead by Day Daylight. Like, no joke. It's the, ex it's, <laughs> it's the exact same thing. How the fuck is, like, is that even possible? Like, why wouldn't you at least do something that's, like, not so recognizable, you know? Will this be the main game of your channel now? Yeah. We'll be doing a lot of mods here. This thing is terrifying, by the way. Why is it the fucking nemesis? And why is he eight frames? What the fuck? Oh, I do a lot of damage to him, by the way. Yo, he's getting fucked up. He goes, oh no, oh no. I thought it was a slender man. Uh. I he gave me 10k. Can you recommend a, a good PvP build in this game? Yeah, if you go like 20, I'd say around 20 dexterity is about what you need to have like a competent build. So if you use the, the katana with the dexterity and a little bit of vitality, because you could tank a lot, uh, and maybe have one of your side spirits be a demogorgon, and then you could also probably get away with a spider. And you go invade. Aftion for letter. What? A letter for Aiden from his in de departed mother. Oh, that's the qu oh quest item. The letter. We found his mother. Well, a note. She was turned into a, a napkin. Boy, there's 20 frames over there. It's like Blight Town. Another big boss guy. He gave me a hard kick, by the way. Fucked his ass up, though. Uh, Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Oh no, you guys. Oh boy. Oh no. <sighs> what is that orb flying, by the way, in my screen? There's an orb flying on my screen. Do you see that or no? What the fuck are those? Oh, is that because of the pill thing? I need to take the pill. Okay, well, I got this guy's mother's note. Man, I lost all my fucking souls. Ah, uh, sort of. I mean, it does the exact same thing as a katana, I think. Yo, we fucked these Demogorgons up now, though. We definitely have gotten better. Remember that guy who left that review who said that he thoroughly enjoyed this game after playing it for 10 minutes? I've probably quadrupled this time on this game. And I can say he was right in every single way. Oh, lesser? Pass it in. Dear Aiden, I have been taking time to it out loud, you fuck. That's when he started falling asleep. And then the, the guy who made the game was like, Fuck! I only had $5 to pay this guy on Fiverr. I can't get another one. Well, I'm gonna have to use it. 
What? He said I need to be alone right now. Either he's sad or she left some naughty things in there. Why do I assume he hired somebody to voice that? I don't. It was just one of my theories. The second one was that he waits at parks and puts mics on benches and records random conversations and just puts all the words together that he needs. Sometimes he'll wait 20 hours a day to get a hay. And he'll go, yeah, I can use that. Stop healing, you fucking dumbass, and hit them with your R1. Oh, my game broke. I can't. Okay, there we go. I died. Well, that was Haywire. Now, how do I quit out? Probably the button that says quit. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it's Hellwire. 